Hello everyone and welcome to a Lego haul video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I wanted to do another one and after a month or two of collecting this is what I have and I wanted to wait until I got the 501st Battle Pack to do this haul video, but now that I have it, you're good. It got to the point where I was trying to find this when I'd go out and work for some money, I'd start counting my money in 501st Battle Packs. So I'd come home and I'd count my money and I'd say, well, I made one and a half 501st Battle Packs today. It's a good day. Anyway, back to the haul. As you can see, we have a few actual Lego boxes and a few packages. I'll be going over all of this shortly. So we have all of our sets here. I'm going to start from the front and work my way back. First up, we have the 75266 um, Sith Troopers Battle Pack. I picked this up at Target a few weeks ago. It's not very new. I mean, it came out this year, but it's been out for a while. I just had never picked it up yet, so now I have that. I just love battle packs so I can build my army, so we're going to stick that over there. Next up we have the 75267 Mandalorian Battle Pack. I really like this battle pack. I like how we have a bunch of different minifigures here, unlike the old Mandalorian Battle Pack, where we got four of the same minifigures. The builds on this are pretty nice. Pretty small piece count, but I mean that's about average for a battle pack. And on the back we have the features, not a ton, but I'm mostly just really excited for these minifigures. Next, we have the 75248 A-Wing Starfighter, excuse me, Resistance A-Wing Starfighter. I picked this up at Walmart a few weeks ago, and it's a nice set. I don't know why the box feels super heavy for only having 269 pieces. We get two minifigures. We get Snap Wesley and Lieutenant Connix. I have Snap Wesley already, but it's just nice to get those Resistance pilot suits. Those are really nice. And the A-Wing is nice. I don't believe I actually own an A-Wing, so that'll be a fun addition to my collection. And of course, the 501st Battle Pack, I did a video about this. Um, if you haven't already seen that, I'll throw a link in the description. But this has been this has been a long search to find this guy, but now that I have it, I'm going to be using it a lot in videos coming up. So now we have four packages here. This is actually only three sets, even though there's four packages. Right here we have the 2013 Starhopper. This is the box with all the pieces, and this is a package with all the minifigures. This is a great example to show how big Lego boxes are for the amount of pieces you're getting. This set has way more pieces, not way more, it has 360 some, and this has 260 some, and the box difference is just... Please say I'm not the only one that notices this. Um, it's hilarious to me that all the pieces fit in here and the Lego box is huge compared to that, the actual Lego box. So we have those two. And then I'm trying to remember which one is which. This one is the, um, I'm pretty sure it is the Tatooine Battle Pack. It comes with Jawas, an Astromech Droid, and a Tusken Raider. Not a very liked battle pack by the Lego community. I personally don't think it's the greatest battle pack, but I don't have any of those minifigures except for the astromech droid, so I figured it was time to pick some up for pretty cheap. So that's kind of why I got this one. And then lastly, we have a very old battle pack. I bought the Assassin's Droid battle pack. I don't remember the year on that one, but I'm very excited to be opening up this because those chrome looking uh, assassin droids are very nice. So this is my most recent Lego haul. We have exactly seven sets today. Um, not a ton, but actually some really great sets that I'm very excited about building. I'm going to be doing some live streams with builds of these sets coming up pretty soon. So watch out for those. I'm not going to be revealing what all these look like built in this video, just so I can do those live streams. But you'll be seeing all of these sets being used in videos coming up in the future, hopefully. So stay tuned for that. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below if you have any video suggestions or any feedback for me. I'd love to read all of your comments. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later.